Here are just a few tips and tricks on how to set up and connect to the Insta360. First, I'm going to start by using the right tripod. So it's important that you don't use a prosumer level tripod like you would with the Pro 2 or Pro 3 cameras. It's just unnecessary and too cumbersome. I really like to use a 360 tripod like this one, which makes moving around the property a lot easier. So I'll just open up the quick release clamps, extend that all the way for now, close it up. And now look at the base here. I like to set this so that the legs are at about 45 degrees. You don't want it to be open all the way, making the base as wide as possible. It's actually going to be less stable. So pull this up a little bit. And if you are at a multi-story property, you have stairs to scan, make sure that these feet all fit on one stair. So I'll set this up, align it with one of the stairs, and then go ahead and tighten this down. Now I'll adjust the top to be at about four feet, maybe a little over four feet. Uh, the cameras are pretty small, and I want to try and get the lens at about four and a half feet. I like four and a half feet for most promote use cases when scanning residential real estate or commercial real estate. If your use case does not require that and you want it to be a different height, by all means, set it up for the height that suits your needs. It won't affect the scanning process itself. It just changes the visitor's experience when walking through the property. So whatever you need that experience to be, set it up accordingly. Now I'll go ahead and connect the camera. When the camera's done booting up, I can go ahead and connect to the camera. This camera does generate both a Bluetooth and a Wi-Fi signal, but the Bluetooth is really just used to connect to the Wi-Fi. And in this case, it is the only way to connect to the mobile device. So what I have to do is open up the Insta360 app first. I'll go into the Insta360 app. I use the app to get the mobile device and the camera connected, and then I just don't need it anymore. So once that's connected, I can get out of there. I can even go into settings and see that my Wi-Fi is currently connected to the One X2, but I don't have to. I can just go into my Matterport app, get new job, set this up as test. It'll come up and you can see that the camera button just above the scan button indicates I am in fact connected to the Insta360 One X2, which is perfect. I can go ahead and start scanning. And that's really all there is to it.